Today, we will crochet a large brand hammock bag of the same style. Now, we use 5 ply milk cotton single ply crochet. The crochet uses 3.5 millimeters crochet. Like my video, please click like to subscribe. Next, let's crochet together. First, chain stitches. Tie a kink on your finger. The crochet needle penetrates into the starting ring. Crochet thread winding. Bring out a coil. This is a chain stitches. Winding and pulling. Winding and pulling. A total of 100 chain stitches are crocheted according to this method. After 100 chain stitches are completed, then crochet to chain stitches as turning chains. This stitch is the last but one. The penultimate. The third from the bottom. Move to the back provoke. The line on the back of the third chain sticks. That is his Li Shan. Crochet. First crochet thread. Return to the third stitch from the bottom. Pick the Li Mountain on the back. Begin crochet. Crochet a double crochet. Hook method of double crochet. Winding leads to a coil. Now, there are three coils on the crochet. The crochet wire is wound through the first two coils. Rewinding and pulling the last two coils. This is a double crochet. Double crochet after each crochet. The top will form a wheat spike like braid. This is our first stitch. Mark with a marking buckle. Then, the crochet thread is wound. Pick the listen on the back of a needle. Crochet a double crochet. Then, follow the same method. In every stitch, crochet a double crochet. One zero zero double crochets in the first row. After one zero zero double crochets in the first row are crocheted. Then crochet a turning chains. Cut the line. Thread and pulling out. So the first line is over. Let's go back to where we started. Continue to crochet the second line. Remove the mark of the first stitch. The crochet is threaded into this stitch. Change the color line in the second line. First, tie a loose knot. Bring the coil in. Hook to turning chains. Then, the crochet thread is wound. Hook a double crochet in each stitch. Next repeat crochet the second line. One zero zero double crochets in total. 
after the second line is completed, crochet a turning chains. Cut the line, thread and pulling out. Then return to the starting position. Change the color line in the third line. Start crochet line 3. Enter the needle from the first stitch. First, tie a loose knot on your finger. Then bring the coil in. Then crochet to turning chains. And then like the first to rows. Double crochet. Hook and weave a double crochet in each stitch. Crochet all together. One zero zero double crochets. We change lines in each row according to this method. A total of 27 lines of crochet. If you want to increase it, we can add more lines. Can be increased to 30 to 33 lines. For color matching, please refer to my pictures. You can also match it yourself. I crocheted a total of 27 lines. If you want to increase the width, we can crochet more lines. After our overall crochet, it is such a large rectangular fabric. We'll fold it in half, then both edges. Suture with short needle or slip stitches. When we sew, we turn over to the back. Use brown thread. First crochet a turning chains. Then the crochet goes through the first stitch. Penetrate the first stitch of the front piece. Then penetrate the first stitch of the thick sheet. Then the crochet thread is wound. Bring out a coil. Pull the last coil into the next coil. This is a slip stitches. Then crochet a slip stitches in each stitch. Follow this method to crochet until last stitch. Hook a turning chains. Cut the line. Thread and pulling out. Sew the other side in the same way. After the edge is sewn up, we turn it over too. The front part starts to make the tape. Find the most central line. White is the most central line on my side. Then in white end. At the junction of dark red. Interpenetration. Let's first crochet the left row. Hook and weave a chain stitch at each intersection. Left side of the junction point. And the right side are white and dark red respectively. So when we crochet the handle, it is the combination of white and magenta threads into double strands. Crochet together. I used a little trick before crocheting. Tie a kink on your finger. In this way, it is not easy to take the wire off again. Then bring the coil in. Then crochet 40 to 50 chain stitches. I crocheted 40 chain stitches. How many chain stitches do you crochet? We can adjust according to our own situation. Leave 10 centimeters thread head to cut the thread. Coil pull out. Such a chain stitch is finished. Next, enter the second junction. Use military green and magenta thread to synthesize double strands. Tie a loose knot. Bring the coil in. Let's crochet the second handle. 
Then crochet 40 chain stitches. Cut the thread after 40 chain stitches are crocheted. Thread and pulling out. Then follow the same method. Connect each junction point on the left and right sides. 40 chain stitches. After all the joints are crocheted, we are like this. After post test, I'm in the center. There are two connecting points left here, no hook. This way, the final product is packaged. It will be more beautiful. Next we will. The two most central straps. Tie. Connect. Next, start from the center. Two lines symmetrical in the most center. Connect. Next, follow the pattern method. Every to symmetrical line connection. This is where I am connected. Next, crochet the coffee colored fabric. Wrapped in the center of the handle. Next, stitch the edges on both sides. So the handle is finished. In the same way, make the handle on the other side. After the handle is made, the length of each chain stitches may be different. So the handle will be uneven. We just need a steam iron. Then stretch the braid. After the bag is made, there will be many thread ends. After we hide the thread, Glue can be used. Apply it to stick the thread. It will be stronger. The thread will not come to the front. There is no thread on the front. Such a. We have finished the bag of the same brand. Very practical.